Valkyrie is like the Pikachu of Beyblade. It's their mascot, the one everyone thinks about, unless I guess you're a Metal Fight fan, then it's Pegasus. And now that I think of it, it's kind of weird how like uh, Beyblade always makes their mascot like female characters. Like Valkyrie's like technically a female warrior, and Pegasus is more like a flipping My Little Pony character. Uh, anyway, because Valkyrie is Beyblade's main mascot, let me get back on track here. Over the years, we've gotten a lot of them, nine to be exact, unless you count Strike God. Valkyrie but I'm not gonna count him since it's basically the same thing as normal Valkyrie but with like a little extra pizzazz you know what I mean anyway a couple months ago I asked you guys to rank these nine Valkyrie Beyblades and the results are in with around 1,000 responses and in today's video we'll be going over them so let's get started in last place, the worst Valkyrie, according to you guys, is Slash Valkyrie, with 238 people ranking him in last, and only 25 people saying it was their favorite Valkyrie, which is honestly surprising. Like, who are these 25 people who think Slash Valkyrie is better than Ultimate Valkyrie? That's absolutely crazy. So yeah, Slash Valkyrie, it's not that popular at all, and when you look at it, you kind of see why. I mean, the Beyblade is just terrible competitively, and not only that, it has has a really bad design. I mean, look at it. It's not terrible, but compared to all the other Valkyrie Beyblades, this thing is so ugly. And I think it's because of what I like to call the GT curse. All GT Beyblades, at least in my opinion, are so flippin' ugly. It was the first time Takara Tomy made a customizable layer where you can change out the chip and the weight. And I mean, although it was a cool idea to begin with, these GT Beyblades just don't look that great. I mean, look at Wizard Fafner and compare it to all the Fafners. Like, there is no comparison. So yeah, because Valkyrie is ugly and weak, it's in last place. <laughs> Dang, that sounds really neat. Anyway, let's move on to the next spot. Next up, in 8th place, we have the Dynamite version of Valkyrie, Savior Valkyrie, with 205 people ranking him in 8th. Now, just like Slash, this thing absolutely sucks. I would even say it's worse than Slash Valkyrie. This is all because of his driver, Shot. This driver has a really cool gimmick that supposedly springs the Beyblade into the air mid-battle, giving it an extra boost of energy, which does work in real life. However, it is at the cost of basically everything. Because the driver is plastic and spring-loaded, it has no friction with the stadium floor at all. So when hitting opponents, instead of sending them flying, it sends itself flying. <laughs> it's an embarrassment of an attack type, and the only reason I think it ranks above Slash Valkyrie is because it has a pretty sick design, and it is a newer Dynamite Beyblade. Up next, in 7th place, we have, of course, Single Layer Valkyrie. And I'm actually surprised it ranks this high on this list, just because technically, it is the weakest Valkyrie, because it is the first Valkyrie. I really don't have much to say about this one. <laughs> when it was first released, it was actually a monster in the stadium, but now it's just completely outclassed, and almost any modern Beyblade can destroy it in battle in a matter of seconds. I will say though, it is nostalgic for some, it does have some charm in its design, which keeps it from ranking in last place, I guess. Moving on, in 6th place we have Winning Valkyrie, with 184 people placing him here. I have to say, Winning Valkyrie, in my opinion, is one of the best designed Valkyrie Beyblades. I mean, just look at it. It looks like Victory Valkyrie, but you just added metal. It's like an upgraded futuristic Victory Valkyrie. It's Iron Man! I mean, that's so flippin' sick! Anyway, although it does look cool, in battle it just doesn't perform as well. The layer is great and has strong contact points but the Disc 12 is the lightest disc to ever be released, and the Driver Volcanic, although fun, can get quite out of control and difficult to handle. Not to mention, in the anime mid-season, it was shattered, and then replaced by the much cooler Chosy Valkyrie, which outclasses winning Valkyrie in almost every regard. Next, in 5th place, we have the classic, Vault's OG in the anime, Victory Valkyrie. Out of all the Beyblades on this list, Victory Valkyrie has the most consistent ranking. Compare the bar graph of Victory Valkyrie to the bar graph of Slash Valkyrie. I feel like Victory Valkyrie is just a Beyblade that nobody hates, but when you compare it to other newer, stronger Valkyrie Beyblades, it just doesn't really hold up. 
Anyway, I think when most people think of Valkyrie, they think of this one right here. Victory Valkyrie, the Beyblade that Vault used to get into the national tournament. The Beyblade that grew alongside Vault and eventually awakened to its true potential. There is really just nothing bad I can say about it. The only reason I don't think it ranks higher on this list is because, well, the next few Valkyries are just that great. Speaking of the next Valkyrie, in 4th place we have God Valkyrie from the Evolution series. Around 193 people voted to put him in this spot, and let me just say, I love this Beyblade. It was the one who introduced Valkyrie's iconic Spring Loaded and Reboot gimmick. Both very practical gimmicks in the anime and real life, and not only that, in the anime Vault was able to work his way up and become the world champion, beating Shu Kurenai in one of the best, if not the best battles in all of the Beyblade Burst series. It has a cool design, a fun gimmick, and an amazing legacy. The only thing holding this back is its performance in real life. Although God Valkyrie isn't a bad Beyblade by any means, it's still an evolution Beyblade, and when you compare it to current Sparking and Dynamite Bays, this thing is just not gonna stand a chance. Now guys, we're on to the top 3. These stand out compared to the rest and are undoubtedly the most popular Valkyrie Beyblades by a landslide. And in number 3, we have, of course, Chozy Valkyrie. I think this was the first time since basically single layer Valkyrie, where Valkyrie was actually a force to be reckoned with. The layer was much heavier than other Chozy layers and featured the Chozy Burst Stopping gimmick, which if you launch the Beyblade hard enough, the Burst Stoppers would protrude out and prevent the Beyblade from bursting. It also came with the newly introduced Evolution Driver, which was similar to the Variable Driver, except much easier to control. It was a powerhouse in the stadium, but it was also fairly prevalent in the anime, being the Beyblade that Vault created after his loss to Aiga. It's a Beyblade with cool gimmicks and an unforgettable design, so it makes sense why it snatched the number 3 spot. Next, we are moving on to the runner up, and honestly, I, I don't know which one I like better, the second place Valkyrie or the first place Valkyrie, but in second place, I think you guys know who it is, it is my man, Brave Valkyrie. This guy does everything Chosy Valkyrie did, but honestly, just better. It's heavier, has better contact points, a sleeker design, it actually has usable rubber contact points, and its driver is the exact same, except with a tighter spring making it burst less often. Now to be fair, it doesn't have burst stoppers, but it doesn't really need them. It just does everything right. I love the yellow rubber on its design. It reminds me of just like lightning surrounding the Beyblade, which is so cool. It's probably the best Valkyrie we've ever gotten in terms of its abilities in real life. However, there is still one Valkyrie who you guys voted was superior, and I think you guys know what it is. I don't even think we need a drum roll for this one. The number one spot is, of course, Ultimate Valkyrie. Now, although I do believe that Brave Valkyrie is more competitive than Ultimate, that doesn't really matter when you have a Beyblade with this much nostalgia and meaning behind it. Ultimate Valkyrie was made to be the final Valkyrie Beyblade, and because of that, it has callbacks to all past Valkyries in its design. It represents the whole Burst series, and the last 5 years we've all had fun spinning Beyblades. It's a combination of all Valkyrie Beyblades, and thus it's fitting to have it sit on the throne above the rest. Alright, and yeah, that was my ranking of every single Valkyrie Beyblade. If you disagree with the ranking, well, you're wrong because I didn't actually make it. You guys made it, so yell at yourself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. If you have a disagreement, tell me in the comment section below. I'll read it. And yeah, thank you, Riley, for writing this. You're awesome. Bye, guys. You guys are awesome, too.